Hello knowledge seekers this is Shoman from Oil and Gas Field Quality Control Today I am with a series of two videos uh, related to the interview questions for the procurement related uh, quality exams these are only uh, some basics and there is no guarantee or surety or it is indicating to succeed for any exam this is only a knowledge base for you guys start with the questions the first one is what is the basis of quality management system or qms quality plan quality manual the basis of all the qms is ISO 9001 2015. I am talking about those projects which are following American standards. Which audit is mandatory for a company? Internal or external? Internal audit is mandatory. When should we perform audit for an EPC contractor? Audit are generally being performed at 15 and 60 percent of the completion of engineering procurement or construction progress separately mean 15 percent of engineering 15 percent of procurement 15 percent of progress of construction and 60 percent of each so there should be a separate audit for each and every department numbers can be different i mean the 15 or 16 percent somebody do it 20 or 75 percent it should be decided by the client and the project contract document at the beginning of the project what are the procurement quality deliverables? The regular deliverables are inspection fabrication status report from all the vendors together in a log, two weeks look ahead for all the vendor activities ongoing and the NCR summary. Other quality deliverables can be quality management report, input for the project quality index to the when contractor vendor subcontractor need to submit their non-conformities to company within 48 hours officially when should a contractor respond for the non-conformities raised by the company root cause and proposed corrective action must be submitted within seven days when should a contractor submit the iap inspection assignment package IAP need to be submitted within 21 calendar days prior to pre-inspection meeting or 14 days prior to final inspection for level 1 inspection category. For this level, I will go later on what are the inspection levels. When a contractor shall submit the IDR or FDR final inspection disposition report, Inspection disposition report IDR or FDR need to be submitted within two weeks after equipment and materials are released for shipment. What is the minimum quality objective or score to be achieved each month? PQI shall not be less than 95%. Just remember, this number is only an indication. In our project, this is 95%. It can be 90 or 93 or 97, any kind of number which will be agreed between the contractor and the client. Briefly narrate the sub-processes of procurement in, in sequence. So these are the basic key sub-processes. Material list to be prepared. Then according to the material, material requisition to be prepared. Then request for quotation to be sent to at least three vendors or three manufacturer or three suppliers. Then we need to we generally take the lowest one. Then technical B devaluation TBE. After technical B devaluation, the work or the order is being awarded to the chosen vendor or manufacturer, which is AWR. We need to achieve NOL, the no objection letter from the client. Then we will go for the purchase order. Uh, means we selected the vendor and we are giving them purchase order to start the work then inspection assignment package to be submitted to the client with this inspection assignment package we have to we have to conduct the pre-inspection meeting together with the manufacturer or vendor and the 
client inspection vendor inspection team to finalize the itp and start the work later on when the work is ongoing then in process and final inspection will be there the frequency will be decided in the itp based on the strictness of the material or inspection after the material is being released we need to submit the idr and fdr to close the procurement process what is the client supplier system supplier online onboarding system we are discussing saudi aramco as a client because this is the world biggest oil company the onboarding system is a web based application that allows new vendor and manufacturer to register their interest in doing business with saudi aramco the system together with help instruction and reference guides and guides new supplier to register For new suppliers a temporary username and password provided until the application is provisionally approved thereafter login credential are formalized what is supplier portal system saudi aramco uses a portal through which registered suppliers approved users interact to receive and maintain supply chain information each new user requiring supplier portal access should formally submit their documents and information through this portal material supplier should apply for the following systems supplier network collaboration snc purchasing documents and financial data all the above original required document should be submitted via express mail services to the supervisor of supplier services unit for saudi aramco what is procurement agreement or pa pa is a very famous abbreviation it means procurement agreement if suppliers be successful then a PA or procurement agreement may be awarded to the supplier a PA is an arrangement to simply future supply against POs but it is not a guarantee of business the PA shall be signed by both parties in hard copy and then may be viewed in the supplier portal purchase orders may be issued with reference to the already agreed terms and condition for items covered by the procurement agreement or PA Saudi Aramco procurement system is 9com and 9cat. What is 9com and what is 9cat? Let us discuss little bit in detail so to understand the methodology or the idea behind it. To organize material supply system, Saudi Aramco, the biggest oil company in the world, uses a portal, supplier portal system, through which registered suppliers and approved users interact to receive and maintain supply chain information. as a systematic approach to categorize material a 9 cat list and general commodity materials are listed in a 9 com list for each supplier contractor can get a recent and relevant list of 9 cat and 9 com for their project from the project management material specialist one b2b supplier self service system in short sss is developed from where suppliers can access sss through the vendor portal as long as there is an approved procurement agreement or pa with saudi aramco each pa will either contain a 9 cat or a 9 com or it can be addressing both for a supplier catalog item 9 cat have a standard description maintained centrally 9 com is general commodity materials require suppliers to upload or add their catalog details through sss that system b2b supplier self service system which enables these items to be subject to enrichment and buyer approval upon the approval the items are available for trade via b2b internal catalog and marketplace the system is i buy In addition supplier can manage their PA items deactivate and they can change it through SSS and the items will be subject to buyer approval images are very important feature of B2B catalog to help customer to choose the appropriate 9 cat or 9 com products for their needs and therefore helping suppliers increase their sales 
suppliers are therefore encouraged to ensure all their products have good and representative images. Each item can have up to three images. Who will provide the Ninecom? Material specialist from client project management team or PMT or the vendor inspection representative from the client will provide the Ninecom to the contractor. How to verify whether the 9com is wrong or right? Verify the material description with datasheet. How many digits are there in 9com? 10 digits. Plant ID and vendor ID. How you identify? Plant ID starting with 300 and vendor ID starting with 100. What are the inspection levels for contractor procured material and equipments? Give some examples. See these levels I am getting from some of my recent project but it can be different client to client. Level 0. It is the inspection where documentation requirements only as specified in the applicable, applicable material. No vendor inspection is required. Level 1 is only final inspection including release for shipment is required prior to shipping. Level 2 includes pre-inspection meetings, one or more unspecified in progress surveillance visits, all witness and hold points, final inspection and release for shipment. You can see level increases the strictness of inspection also. Level 3 includes pre-inspection meeting, one or more unspecified in progress surveillance visit, all witness and hold points, final inspection and release for shipment. Inspection shall be on a regular basis, daily, weekly or bi-weekly based on the product. Level 4 is the most strict level. Resident inspector continually monitoring the work plus all the inspection points should be verified as discussed in level 0 to 3. Who will prepare the MR? Engineering team will prepare the MR and it has to be reviewed by the Procurement Quality Control Supervisor or PQCS. What are the contents of an MR? Material requisition, MR approval seat, scope of supply, bidder list or regulated vendor list with limitations, QAQC requirement, applicable standards and history. What the PQCS need to check in a TBE or technical bid evaluation? PQCS should check the 9COM number is correct, material description is full and correct, inspection level is right, regulated vendor list related to the material is attached, applicable standards are there. What are the contents of award recommendation? Approval sheet, regulated vendor list, approved material requisition and approved technical bid evaluation. So that's all for part 1, wait for the next video with part 2 for some remaining questions for related to procurement and PQCS interview. Thank you guys, if you like the way of my teaching, please don't forget to share and subscribe my channel. Please hit the like button to inspire me more. Signing off for today, Showman.